This is a short video for another of my subscribers, uh, Ken, who's been asking questions about how you actually activate and uh, arm a multi-wee board. So uh, in this video, Ken, what I'll do is very quickly show you how you do that. Um, I'm obviously going to use a couple of cameras here. One is to show the actual transmitter itself and the other is to show the model. And we're actually going to look in the front of the model because the board actually is inside of the frame. But you should see the lights come on. So first of all, let me power up the model itself. I'll tell you what, let me just power up this, make sure I've got the right model selected, which I have. Power up the model itself. There we are, she's waiting. So she'll power up, and then what you'll find is that, um, apologies for all the lights and things on the model, you'll find that in the middle of it, there is a, um, a red and a green LED that you can see behind the camera. Now, to arm a multi-wee board, because if I increase the throttle, nothing happens now, it's safe, is you hold the throttle to the right-hand side, and if you watch the screen, you'll see the board light come on. Okay, that now means that the board is live. If I bring the throttle up, you'll see the engines now work. If I turn the throttle off, to disarm it, you keep the throttle down and to the left, hold it there for a couple of seconds, you can see the light now goes off, and now the throttle is safe again. Now sometimes what you'll find is that it's the end points on this, uh, these two channels, the throttle and the rudder, that aren't quite um, there. So what I'll do is I'll very quickly just unplug the model and show you how you do that in the radio. So here's uh, a zoom in on the radio itself. So this is the model I'm flying, the F30 Quad. If I go into the menu, uh, it's different for every radio, but you should be able to find it in yours. If you zoom through all of the menu settings, you'll eventually come to endpoints. There we go. So it's called travel adjust in this radio. And what I had to do to actually make it work comfortably every time with my setup is you can see for the rudder, bear with me, it's 103% on left and right, and I had to increase that from 100 so that the, the multi wee board saw it every time. And throttle, I've had to go to minus 120% to guarantee that every time it's below the threshold that the multi wee's happy with and it will fire up. So that's something to double check if you can't get your motors to spin, that the end points for the low throttle and for right rudder are uh, deep enough so that it will power up. Easiest way to do it is take the motors, um, take the, uh, the propellers off the motors on the model, sit it on the ground, make sure that you can see the top of the board, hold the stick over to the right hand side, increase the two values for throttle and rudder and eventually you'll see that light come on you'll hear the confirmation and then when you increase the throttle the model will actually power up. Hopefully that, uh, that helps you. You don't have to change anything in config.h, you don't have to set anything up. This is the default way that you arm and disarm a multi-wee based flight board. Good luck, I hope you get this thing flying soon. Thanks for watching.